What's up, y'all? Sparta here. So, this isn't gonna... I'm gonna try to not make this a super long video because it's just gonna be... Bas it's gonna basically just be on one topic and it's going to be a screen report on the LG V60. Now, I did this back with the LG V30 where um, there were a lot of reports where the V30 had, like, bad screen bad screens according to some reviewers and a lot of them would just say very vague stuff like oh it was blotchy and like crap like that and not actually say what's wrong with the display and they would also say oh it has color shifting and if you guys watch a video that i did a while back like note 8 and v30 between the note 8 and v30 comparing both of those displays where people would just say that, oh, the V30, it has color shifting. And guess what phone had color shifting as well? The Note 8. <laughs> and the Note 8, the Note 8 had really, it had worse color shifting. And nobody talked about that, right? But, oh, rag on LG because they're finally doing OLED, but it's not as good as Samsung. But nonetheless, I want to talk about this here. I didn't do this with the V40 because I didn't really feel any need to. But with the V40, it was like... And V50, since it's basically a, a souped-up V40, I just didn't decide I didn't decide to get that. And I'll also bring... I don't have the G8 with me, but I'll touch on the G8 a little bit as well. But here's what I'm going to say. LG has come a long way <laughs> with their OLED game. They initially started with this... um with OLED with the LG G Flex. And then the G Flex 2 was the last phone for like a few years to have an OLED display from them. And then they went to the V30 as their first phone for like what, three, like two, three years to have an OLED display? It was, I think it's two. And from the V30 to now, it's definitely come a long way. Obviously, it's going to be hard for me to show you guys since I'm recording with a phone. <laughs> and and even though it's the V20, it's still going to be quite difficult to do that. <laughs> but I'm definitely going to talk about this. And I'm going to compare it to a phone that, while it's not the latest Samsung phone out here, it's definitely a Samsung phone worth bringing up, and that's the Note 10. And it's kind of apt since the... <laughs> That was what I initially started this with, right? V30 and Note 8. So V60 and Note 10. <laughs> That's who I didn't even notice that. But yeah, let's get into this. So going from V30 to V60, what is the key difference? Well, from then up to now, they put out a whole bunch of phones with OLED displays which means that they've gotten better with their OLED technology, right? So, this is no longer a 1440p or Quad HD display. It's a 1080p display. To some people, that might that is a downgrade. It, it, in specs, it definitely is a downgrade, but for me personally, it's fine. Like, comparing it to the G8, which has a 1440p OLED display, it's like... You can you can see if you really put your face close to the display, <laughs> but it's not to the point where I'd say the V60's display is trash because it's 1080p. No, it is a really high quality 1080p panel, and that's and that's the one thing that I've said with the 6T as well. The One Plus 6T is that yes, it's a 1080p panel, but it's a quality 1080p panel, and there's a difference. I had this Xperia 1A that had a 720p panel, and even though it wasn't terrible, you can definitely see it was a bit fuzzy in some areas, right? The Note 10 has a really good 1080p panel as well, but comparing it to the V60, the V60's display gets brighter, for one. It's... It, it depending on what you decide to set your color temperature as, it does get a little bit. It does get, it can get more vibrant. I put it on. I've been using it on auto, and it's been 
faring me fine ever since. <laughs> and I really haven't had any issues in terms of that. But overall, um, in terms of like issues like screen burning and and um, color shifting and stuff like that, I haven't had any issues yet for screen burning. And I do indeed use this phone <laughs> at like 70 to 100 percent brightness a lot of the time unless it's like at night then i turn it down to like 40 so it's like and even then 40 is pretty bright but it's not overbearingly bright and honestly that's something and that's like a lot of well people say oh when you turn your when you turn your Note 10 screen down to zero it gets super dim i was like yeah but i don't really want that <laughs> right? I don't want a phone screen to get super dim to where I can't see it. I need to at least see it, right? And the V60, while it does get, it does indeed get dim, and I guess I'll just compare these two now. What the hell? I guess I'll just compare these two now. Sorry, I just got a weird random email. Now, obviously, they have two different wallpapers. So, and I guess I'll do that on the V60 there. And I'll pull in focus a little bit more. Um, as you can see here, the note definitely does get dimmer. And if that's something that you do like, that's something that I would indeed say go for it with. But for me personally, like I said, that's not something that is like, a that's not something that's a selling point. A lot of people like to use that as a reason to get the note for some reason. I don't really understand why. Wouldn't you want to use your phone's display at its full potential? And I don't always mean, oh, 100% all the time, but at least to the point where... At least to the point where you can see it. <laughs> but, um, yeah. In terms of, like, color shifting, there's really not much. Like, you have to put you have to put your phone at, like, to where you could barely even see it in the first place to get some color shifting. And it also has to do with the fact that this has a flat display. Unlike the Note, where this has a curved display, you'll definitely get more... Oh, God. <laughs> and, of course, since... I got that setting. It's going to do that. Apologies for the boob shot on Blaze Fielding there, but whatever. Um, yeah, like I said, there is indeed, there isn't, there is color shifting, but you should really expect that with OLED, display, OLED displays by now. It's been an issue since OLED displays became a thing on phones, and it's going to remain a thing. Like, the only difference is that it'll get, it'll become less of an issue and it's become less of an issue over time obviously because phones have less and less of it so there you go speaking on the g8 and obviously it would be better for me to talk i'll talk about it more when i do my year in review on the g8 but the g8 also has a fan a really 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 good oled 1440p display it's really efficient it doesn't it doesn't destroy battery life. It doesn't do anything like that. It's actually more efficient than this phone with its battery and its screen resolution, where they both have the same size 3,500 milliamp hour battery, but the G8 just stomps it. It not stomps it. It gets like an extra hour or two of battery life out of it, which to me is really good. And it also honestly depends on what you do with the phone. Your mileage may vary in that department, but for me personally, and I use those phones heavily together. So this isn't just me talking out of my ass. I use both these phones. I use both the G8 and V6, G8 and Note 20 side by side for over a year. Not over a year, but about a year. <laughs> and I've never really had any issues in terms of the the note 10 having like say 10 or 10 5 to 10 less battery than the g8 and that's just something that i've noticed over time um the screen on here 
like I said, while it's 1080p, you don't really see any, unless, like I said, unless you really go into the display and you're looking for stuff to be blurry, you won't see anything blurry at all, really. I tend to use, like, 2 to 4K wallpapers anyway, so you can't really see it. And even on, like, icons, I'm doing now, and I'm going to cut the brightness up just so I can do this. You cannot really see any sort of blurriness that's, like, notable. Like, that's a deal breaker that would make me say, oh, this display is trash. It's not there. <laughs> um, I also will say that the always-on display is also really efficient as well, right? Compared to Samsung, they're really finicky with, like, its proximity sensor in particular, where sometimes it'll turn on off, off in my pocket and sometimes it won't. I guess it just depends on the angle in which it's in my pocket, whereas in my on my V60, it'll always turn off. Like, the moment I put it down. And then I just decide that I want to look at my phone again. Oh, I didn't do it there. It has to be down a little bit longer, I guess. But, yeah. And the main issue with that and why I always bring that up is that Samsung will decide to scan in your pocket no matter what, right? It'll just be like, oh, you're trying to use me? And it'll just try to scan your thigh. That's my problem with this fingerprint sensor in particular it is really fast right god and it's so hard to pinpoint where it is sometimes so yeah and as you guys can see the v60 display turned off and when you cover when you're covering the when you're covering the proximity sensor in the camera look at that it just turned off i do this as you guys get fingerprint activity disabled and it'll just do that whereas on the v6 well on, god dang it note 10 it'll do it no matter what like i just said so in terms of that it's better um in terms of like the v30 and comparing it to now and even comparing it to my g8 like i said the display does seem to be brighter and that's actually really nice it's really, it's really good to use in bright sunlight. Let me actually give you guys a picture that I took right here. If I can find it anyway. Uh, it's way down here. Oh, it's right here. Uh, focus. Got to rain in focus. This isn't a bright, brightly lit area. Like, it was sunny out that day and stuff like that, and it just looked really nice. Um, as you guys can see, there's really no issue in terms of it getting me being able to see it in bright sunlight. It's actually really nice. It's not dim. doesn't look any, like, worse. And it's something that I've noticed on the Note 10 even more now, where when I'm trying to use it in, like, not even bright sunlight, but let's say in, like say, a gloomy day, it'll weirdly be not as bright, and it's not as clear to see, and especially when I'm doing something like using the camera, which I've been doing a lot lately for these next few videos I'm going to be putting out, it's been like a really weird thing where the Note 10 just won't be bright, and I will have it up at 100, and it'll be bright enough then, but it's not near, it's not as bright as the V60. And it isn't like the Note 10 is like a two-year-old phone. This phone is not even a year old. So that's just something to show you that to sit here and just blindly say that Samsung is still the best in terms of displays is not necessarily right. I would say that LG is a very close second, if not they're tying right now, because LG has really come a long way in terms of this. And I've always kind of thought it was kind of a wash, even with the V30 and Note 8, that these two display, both of the displays were actually as good as each other. If not, my V30 was a tad sharper. So it was, it was like, it was always weird to me when people go, oh, but the, the, Note 10, the Note 8 is just better. It's like, yeah, but you're not telling me how, you're just saying it's just better. 
And this isn't trying to make, this isn't me trying to crap on the Note 10 or anything like that. Because like I said, I really do like this display a lot, right? It's a really good display regardless of <laughs> what, what, um, <laughs> what LG is doing, right? But the reason I'm bringing it up is because one, it's the Samsung phone that I have. <laughs> and two, I, it's the other 1080p display that I have aside from the 6T. And it's just something that I just wanted to bring up, like I said. So that's all I really wanted to do for this video. This is Sparta. Thank you guys for watching and support. Let me know in the comment section below if you have a V60. Have you been loving it? Display <laughs> its display. Let me know in the comment section below. This. Hope you guys have a wonderful Friday, whatever time of day it is in your area. Have a good one.